Hello, this is Oak Tree Dude um, with a Glade Chord Guide today. I uh, finally decided that it was time for me to um, update my YouTube channel, uh, mainly because of a few friends who have been pestering me to update it with a Glade Chord Guide of uh, a Steely method. Um, they were all like, oh, why are you getting so many boots? What the fuck? So, uh, they were definitely desperate to learn my method of killing these guys. So, um, as far as I understand, this is, uh, as of, hmm, what is today? May 15th. It is the fastest way to kill Glacors, um, as a general method theory. Not, not, this definitely is not the right setup for the fastest. Uh, I could probably get a couple more kills per hour if I went to Virtus and um, did a few equipment switches. But uh, the general theory behind the Steel Titan is the fact that you need as much of a max mage bonus as you can get. Um, the Steel Titan will be used to kill the Sapping Glacite as soon as it spawns. Uh, that way you can direct your attention to the Enduring One via Storm of Armadil. Uh, and uh, kill it quickly before the uh, the unstable one does a little explosion so that by the time the unstable one explodes and loses the majority of the health you can just go along and either poke it with a rapier or kill it with Storm of Arm Bill. Um, uh, as you can assume this is not a, a basic guy, this is more advanced. Uh, you will need to learn how to use Soul Split to regain your life points. You will need to learn how not, how not to die here. Uh, that those two are very important. You also need a Steel Titan, how much is obvious, and uh, I use Storm of Armadil. Some people don't use that because they're cheap, and I'm like, you know what? Haters gonna hate, whatever. Um, I don't fucking care because I get more boot drops than they will, ever will. I'm sorry, that was bad. <laughs> I get more boot drops than they have, than, than, than they had. Okay, um, so right from the bat, you know, just standard procedure just soul split up you know you don't have a unicorn so I don't bring Excalibur or any food here um, that's just me and my personal preference so right as, as soon as the uh, three glycet spawn you're gonna immediately move back and tag the enduring glycet one time uh, have your steel titan uh, attack the sapping one spam the special until it and the uh, enduring one is pretty much dead you want to switch to your storm of armadillo halfway through the kill and uh, as soon as the unstable one explodes you want to finish it up quickly and dodge the explosion and get back to the kill oh wow that was fast um i'm gonna try that again uh that was like 20 seconds not even so try that again hopefully i'll be a bit more successful on that commentary um because dang that's hard to do actually uh okay so as, as i was saying as soon as the uh glacite spawn at around 45 no 55 percent lp left there we go uh you want to tag immediately the enduring one uh move a step back tell your titan to attack the sapping one spam the special bar um switch to storm armadillo kill the enduring one and uh dodge the range attacks if there are any um as soon as both of these are dead the unstable one is right about to explode there we go 900 and you just quickly move back dodge the explosion and kill it with the 100 damage uh which you saw um and you just get back to the kill so I mean, the only important part uh, that requires absolute 100% concentration is halfway through the kill when the glacites spawn. The glacites are also the uh, the hard, not not really say hardest, but like the most time-consuming um, step that most people face, and most people let it try to lure it around the wall and do all sorts of sorts of uh, fancy stuff, which I don't really understand why you do it because with this method you you know just kind of dodge it and, and yeah, just I don't know. Some people come up with crazy ideas sometimes. I don't really understand most of what we do, what they do. Uh, anyway, with this method, um, I tried to uh, do this widescreen, the widescreen method, um, but it didn't work on YouTube that well. So I had to kind of uh, squeeze in the screens a little bit. Uh, so, but normally when I do this, I will usually play on a wider screen than this, so I can actually see the glade core and its attacks more easily. As you can see, I kind of um, kind of uh, move the screen around a bit just to see its attacks a little bit more clearly. Um, out of my peripheral vision, if I see a big movement, 
uh, off the Glade Core, then that usually means that the uh, special range attack is coming for me to move. Um, if it raises the left hand, uh, then I can usually pretty much tell that it's a uh, uh, a mage attack, and then if it's raising its right hand, I can tell it's a range attack. So it's it's really easy to get a hold of it as soon as you um, get used to it. But I guess the hardest part really is keeping yourself alive and getting used to the main Glacor's attacks and getting used to the soul split switch. The minions aren't that bad, no matter how you know whatever else people tell you. The main things that actually deal the most damage is probably the Glade Core. So, personally, just get that out of the way soon first, and um, you're pretty much set from then on. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, a lot of people say rate, subscribe, or whatever, but I'm not. You know, I don't really give a shit because this is my my YouTube account that I never use. Uh, so, yeah. Hope this was educational, and thanks a lot for watching.